So I had proposed a question yesterday, what was your biggest struggle with building your spiritual business? And many of you had said getting clients, expanding my clientele. Well, the first question I have to ask you is how are you letting people know what you do? How are you shining your light is how I like to call it. How are you providing awareness and understanding of what it is you actually bring to the table? What's your unique gifts? What what is your niche? Um, how are you assisting people? How are you how are you helping people? And obviously there's a consistency that needs to be held in the realm of social media or just expanding, exposing yourself, sharing your light. Um, social media is it's a great tool if you use it properly, if you use it with the best of intentions, but it can also be a little bit overwhelming if you solely depend all your attention and expectations on the outcome of your social media. But truly, if it is used with integrity, with genuinity and intention, it can be a great platform to share your light with others. And I think that's the biggest step is that so many people are on a path looking for assistance, looking for guidance. And if they can't find you, if they don't know truly what it is you're, you're giving or you're able to assist them with, then how can they find you? And with that being said, again, it's incredibly important that you're humble in understanding that many of us are just channels. I spoke about this several weeks ago about us transitioning into the, the golden age, if you will, for us that are healers, who are psychics, who are mediums, really being humble and recognizing that we are, we are channels. We hold space for spirit to work through us to assist those that are needing help at this time. And in this transition, we are stepping away from being the, the healers into the teachers, the educators, in sharing wisdom and guidance with those who are seeking it in remembering that they possess all the power in their own hands, in their own capacity to walk their path, to heal themselves, to develop in a way that they are meant to within this lifetime. So I hope that gives a little bit more guidance. Um, again, under, understanding and recognizing where is your light? What, what are you bringing to the table? And how are you sharing that with people? How are you shining your light for people who are meant to work with you and in a way that they can find you? Because if you have a social media account or you know, you're, we are working from home and you're not being able to connect and share with people what it is you do, how are they gonna be able to find you? <laughs> um, so that's my biggest advice as a business owner, as a um, as someone who does what I do. <laughs> um, shine your light, but before that, you have to figure out what your light is, what it is you truly feel called to do, how it is fulfilling for you and making it in a way that's fulfilling for you and not daunting and is not um, overcompensating that comes to value, that comes to boundaries. And then sharing education, sharing your knowledge, sharing your wisdom with people. My, the, this Instagram, I've said it a million times before, when I originally made my Instagram platform, it was not with the intentions of getting big by any means. I made it because I had difficulty finding online and out there the the tools the awareness the wisdom the additional guidance and, and development that i was seeking it just i couldn't find it and so i felt called to just start sharing my experiences and my knowledge and my knowledge with people that might resonate with it that was strictly it it was not in, it really intended to build a business and people just resonated with it those who were meant to resonate with it resonated with it and it just began to grow and expand and that really was the door in opening for me to build a business and and do what I do now full time but it definitely took time and and at the core of it at the basis of it, it, it I really held the intention of I'm just here to be a, a conduit I'm just here to share whatever it is that spirit needs to share through me and through every session I do I really hold firm to that same intention that I'm just strictly the conduit. I hold space with whoever is meant to resonate with me and work with me for spirit to bring forth whatever it is that person is needing. So again, going back to genuinity and integrity 
and worth and value it's it's really kind of a broad spectrum in all those pieces of how to expand your business and get those clientele but to answer the original question find out your light figure out how to share that knowledge and wisdom with people in a way that people can witness it and just hold space for your clientele to to expand and remember that we are not meant to work with everyone if your intention is to work with as many people as possible because at the core of your intention is money, monetary energy, I can promise you that it's not gonna grow in the way that you want it to grow. And it's not gonna be as fulfilling as you should be fulfilled by this type of work. So I hope that gives some guidance and some assistance. I'd love to hear your feedback. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And thank you for listening.